Hi everyone, welcome to Technique Peak. This is Bob McCabe. I wanted to go over a couple simple drills that we can use when we start to progress patients to plyometrics. So this is at the end stage of therapy where we're going into um, phase three rehabilitation or perhaps transitioning uh, to plyometrics. And these are some of the first exercises that we can do to, to determine if a patient is uh, able to land with correct biomechanics. Uh, prior to beginning any type of plyometric program. So this is called the single leg drop land and the bilateral uh, double leg drop landing uh, exercises. So we have the patient standing up and we start off by having them bring their arms over their head. And for the bilateral drop land, we're going to have them uh, cue the patient like uh, as if somebody's trying to pull the carpet or the floor out from underneath their feet and they have to land. So hands overhead, and they land in a flexed position, athletic stance. And what we're looking for is no valgus, no varus, and good knee flexion uh, at the end, at the end uh, range of motion, and not having too much of a stiff knee, uh, adequate knee flexion. From there, we can go to a bilateral or a unilateral uh, drop land, and I'll show a incorrect and a correct version. So for unilateral, we're gonna have the patient lift up the contralateral knee. And again, the cue is pulling the carpet out from underneath you and we're gonna have them land. Okay, that was an incorrect version. My knee came in and I kind of laterally flexed. I'm gonna show that again with more correct biomechanics. Again, knee up high. This is called the snap down exercise as well. We want them to finish with that knee over the lateral aspect of the foot and enough knee flexion. This is one parameter that can be used to determine if a patient can start to progress to plyometrics.